Or on YouTube. It's all been going off, Harry. We've got a... Um, we got a holiday pay. we got minimum wage, which I don't think will work. And we got pensions. What can I say? Didn't expect that to happen. But it happened. <laughs> so, a few things I want to talk about is one, the holiday pay thing, 12% of your earnings paid back to you every two weeks, which is just brilliant. Um, I think it's brilliant anyway. Um, yeah, 12% of your earnings paid back to you after every two weeks, 12% of your earnings get paid back to you, which is great for holiday pay. So technically, you don't go away. You don't um, pay twenty five percent settle no more. Technically, it's only um, thirteen percent settle because you get to get twelve percent back if you're on twenty five percent, which is a bonus, which I'm happy with. Big win. The minimum wage. I don't know how that works because the way they've put it in the email, the minimum wage is from when you start a trip to when you finish your trip. As you know, um, no one. I've got to go. I've got a job. Uh, no one will earn less than minimum wage if you're working the full hour. Um, but that, that's going against the Supreme Court um, ruling because they say that you should get minimum wage for all online time. But I don't want the minimum wage to happen because if we get a minimum wage for all online time. Right, it, it takes away the flexibility. We'll have to accept every job they send. Do you know what I mean? Like, if I was getting minimum wage, technically I could w drive into the quietest area ever, go online and sit there and get paid minimum wage and do nothing. Um, but like some jobs, some jobs are flipping miles away, especially where I'm based and where I work. You, you could 10 mile job, three quid for 10 miles away and you have to go and do it. If we get minimum wage, the flexibility will go. So I'm happy that they give you the minimum wage as in if you're on a trip and you're stuck in traffic and it's a four pound job but it takes 45 minutes because the traffic and then they'll top it up to minimum wage for that job. Great. But if they bring in a minimum wage for an hour wage um, online time, no, because you could sit there and deny jobs all day and get minimum wage. It wouldn't work. Uh, and obviously... Pension contribution, that's pretty cool. Everybody loves a pension. So, yeah. So, well, obviously, what I was saying is I don't want to be employed in the last video. I don't. Uh, and obviously, a few commenters said that, well, there's a thing in the middle called a worker. So, you get a little bit of both benefits, self-employed flexibility with a little bit of workers benefits, which is pretty cool. Um, so, what they've changed at the moment is a win, in it? You're 12% back on your wages for their holiday pay. Uh, a minimum wage on time travelled on a trip probably won't get it because very rare you know, unless the minimum wage while while on trip and a pension contribution. The only problem is some people aren't happy and they want the minimum wage for the acceptance uh, for the online time. So they're going to fight it again. So who knows what happens? But myself personally. I don't want the minimum wage. I'm happy with the holiday pay. I'm happy with the holiday contribution. But what's your thoughts, peeps? Because obviously I got loads of comments on the last one. Give me all different opinions and voice their opinions. So um, let me know in the comments below and uh, how you feel about the changes currently. Also, they're offering compensation for the previous years. Uh, if you've signed up to that Lee, Lee Day solicitors, it's a no win, no fee. Be careful because if you go through if you signed up with them and then you choose to go through Uber, the problem you might have is Lee Day might want fees for any work that they've done since you've signed up. A solicitor friend told me that. So I signed up through that Lee Day just because everyone else was. Um, so I, I'm not going to go through Uber directly through the compensation route because Lee Day might come after me for fees because it's a no-win, no fee. But if they've done work for me now and I pull out, I might owe them money. So make sure you look into that before you start going down the Uber route. And if you do accept compensation through Uber directly, direct, directly, 
you obviously can't claim for the listeners. Thank God. Comment below. Let me know. Bye-bye.